Hi everyone, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Mr. Peabody and Sherman's show. It's where we will be taking on night two in this video. So without further ado, we will start night two and see what our tip is, because there's always tips in these nights. Alright, night two is Christine Enable. Keep clicking the calm Christine button, because if you don't, the meter will go zero and she will jump scare you. Alright, no problem, let's do it. Alright. Okay, there's Christine. Okay, so we have to keep hitting the calm Christine button down. And then she will she won't move. So yeah, I'm not gonna be needing to check the cameras much. Okay, there's Mr. Peabody, I see him. Hang on, bear with me, I was just fixing my camera. This whole game reminds me of Five Nights at Mr. Black series I did because like there wasn't really much sound in those ga in those games. Alright, let's see. No one there, okay. Um, let's see. And this game actually goes till 7 a.m. That's why I didn't point out in the last video. And another thing I didn't point out was that Sherman's jump scare, and I don't know if the rest are like this, his jump scare definitely sounds like the Final Fantasy XIV's one jump scares. Alright, hit the, hit the fuse box. Alright, I got rid of Sherman, who apparently jump scared me in the last video, and the game didn't end, which completely left me speechless. I don't know why the game didn't end. Because, I mean, normally when you get jump scared, like, the game is over and you have to start the night over again. Which is actually the most, which is the most baddest, which is the bad part about the game. Okay. Okay, so Christine's on cam 1B, that's where we have to keep her, to, so that she doesn't move. And the number goes up to 20. There's Sherman, use the fuse box. Alright, got rid of him. Recharge that. This whole building actually looks like a business place that we're in. Which is kind of why the office is so generic. Okay. Hopefully we won't get jump scared in this, because in night one, that left me completely confused and speechless. Like, why would you let a character jump scare me and, like, not let the game end? Like, that's just weird. Because, I mean, after you get jump scared in most FNAF fan games and in Final Fantasy games, the game just ends and you have to start the night over again. There's Sherman. Just just shocked him with the, old, with the fuse box. I have not actually seen Mr. Peabody in the office. I don't know why. He has not shown up in the office yet this night. I don't. I wonder why. In fact, Sherman's actually the only character I've been jump scared by. I haven't been jump scared by the others. <clears throat> and that that portrait on the camera actually looks like Abraham. It looks like a portrait of Abraham Lincoln and George Washington. I could be wrong though. But that portrait almost looks like Abraham Lincoln and George Washington. It's hard to tell because of the static, but I think it looks like Abraham Lincoln. I could be wrong, though. But, I mean, I'm guessing that's Abraham Lincoln and George Washington in the photo. I could be wrong, though. Oh, sh Oh, I forgot about you, Sherman. Oh, there's the game over, finally. And it shows Mr. Peabody and Sherman after you've been killed. Okay. That's what I was looking for. A game over. Okay. Thank you, game, for giving the game over. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I was thinking there was not going to... I was thinking the game wasn't going to end after Sherman jump scared me, but... That's not the case, though, because the game just ended. 
It was at 6 a.m. in night one that I was jump scared by him, and, and surprisingly the game didn't end. I don't know why. Whereas now it just ended. I don't know. I, did, I didn't check on Sherman in time. That's what happened. I mean, I kind of have to be quick this tonight because I need to check both my office because Mr. Peabody and Sherman will come enter. And then I got to calm Christine down because otherwise she'll go insane and kill me. Right, I just didn't react in time, which is why I got jump scare. Alright, got rid of Sherman with the sh with the fuse box. Another thing I didn't point out in the last video is that there's no f there's no phone guy in this game. Alright. Sherman, all right, got rid of him with the, with the fuse box, perfect. All right, I'm constantly checking because you never know when Sh Mr. Peabody and Sherman will come in. That's why you have to constantly check, and you have to constantly check on Christine. Say so you can calm her down. Yeah, because I died at 4 a.m. after getting jump scared by Sherman. There we are. Get rid of him. All right. Got rid of him with the fuse box. And for some reason, like I said earlier in the video, Mr. Peabody has not shown up at my office. He hasn't shown up at my office much. It's mostly Sherman. I'm not sure why that is, though. I mean, he showed up at my office in night one. I just don't know why he hasn't shown up in night two. I mean, it's 5 a.m. now. There's Sherman, get rid of him. Alright, got rid of you, Sherman. Perfect. He's been he's been mostly showing up to my office this night. Mr. Peabody hasn't really shown up yet. Alright, 6 a.m. so we're doing well. Once we hit 7 a.m. we beat the night and that's actually the good part. Okay. There we are, the Sherman. Alright, got rid of him. Perfect. I mean, because he's jump scared me twice so far in this game. I wonder why that was. <laughs> All 
All right, we beat night two. And this whole this this ending night sound reminds me of Final Fantasy Freddy's one because it's the same theme in it. But of course, it doesn't have the kids cheering. But anyways, we will take on night three in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.